Hey, just quite welcome back on Soda. Is it worth it? So, base episode, we got this cool amazing right here, and basically, what this is is a non stick frying pan that also has that honeycomb design that's on here. If you can see the one that we got right here from this brand, and we got remember in the past, I should use another one from this brand, which is basically the same exact thing. The only difference is that this one's smaller than the other one I showed you guys last time, but everything works the same way. So, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the pot looks like first. All right, so once you guys open up, if you can see the pot is actually pretty small. But let's take it out first. So once you guys take it out, here is basically what's included inside. So same thing right here, they do probably got the handle inside the little box. And then right here, we do have the actual product. So right here, we do have the lid. And the bottom right here, we do have the actual product. So let's take off all the wrapper first to show you guys what it looks like. All right, so once you guys take out the lid, here is basically what the lid looks like. So right here in the middle is where you guys want to set the handle. And right here is a little hole for the steam to come out. So when you guys open the little box, let me show you guys what the handle looks like. All right, so this is what the pot looks like. Let's take it out. So I'm seeing right here, they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set up the actual handle. So this one's slightly different than the other one because it's not that part in the middle. And when I do take out the handle, here is basically what the handle looks like. If you guys can see, the handle is much smaller than the other one that I showed you guys before. And missing one of the pieces because it doesn't have it for this one. So the pot itself is much smaller. But for this one, it does require you guys to use a screwdriver to actually screw it together. But let's put this on the lid to show you guys how to set it up first. So you guys want to unscrew this part right here. And you basically want to insert this part into the middle. So just like that. Once you guys do that, you guys can put the handle on top and screw it together. Once you guys put in the handle, here is basically what the handle looks like. And obviously when you guys screw it on, you probably want to use a screwdriver to actually screw it on tighter. But if you see the way how to design this lid basically works the same way as the other one that I showed you guys in the past, which was a 12 inch one. So you definitely have to often put your lid like this onto a flat table or you put it down like this as well. But when you guys do grip the handle, it actually feels pretty nice. It does give you guys a pretty good grip, if you can see. So here is basically what the lid looks like. Now I'm actually show you guys the actual pen. So they have the same stuff right here. And if you guys open up, here is basically what the pot looks like. So if you see the side of this one is much smaller. So everything inside right here is basically the same. So we do have like the non-stick layer on here and also the honeycomb design that's on here as well. So that way, regardless of what kind of tensile you guys use, whether it be like silicone, wooden, or anything else, it should be fine. And if you can hear the material that's on here, it definitely sounds like a high quality material. But right here, we do have a very nice grip for the handle option. And right here, we do have the hole for it to hang somewhere if you guys do want to. And we guys turn to the back. Here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So it has the same kind of design as the one that I showed you guys last time as well. And for this pan, you can definitely use it on any kind of stove top, whether it be a like gas stove top, electric stove top, or etc. So for the size of the pan that we got right here, it should be like 8 inch. They do have it available in a bigger size as well. So this one is too small for you guys, so you can definitely get a bigger one instead. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Let me show you guys a quick test of the one that I showed you guys before for the 12 inch one to show you guys how it works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. So if it's the first time using product, you do want to use some like warm water and soap to wash it. So let's do that first. All right, now you guys want to do the same thing for the pan. So like I mentioned for the pan, because it does have like that non-stick layer on here and the honeycomb design on here, it's so much easier for cleaning. If it's in here. And it won't matter which style you guys use on the sponge as well because of that honeycomb design. All right, so that should be good. Let's test it out to see how it works. So if you guys notice for the lid that we have right here, when you guys put it on the table, this is basically how you guys can use it if you guys want to. Or it's go like this. But the other way is probably easier because that's how they designed it for you guys to put in. Eventually how stable the product is. But now let's test out the pan to show you guys how well it works if you guys do like fry stuff, maybe like even cook egg or something. All right, so first thing I want to do is to turn on the fire to let it heat up first. So like I mentioned for this pan, when you guys do use it, you can definitely use like wooden utensils, metal utensils, or even silicone. I'm gonna use a silicone material because it works a lot better in this kind of like pan. All right, so it looks like it's ready. Let's crack the egg. So here's basically what the pot looks like once you guys do crack the egg inside. Obviously when you guys cook it in here, you guys can definitely add oil or whatever. But for this test, I wanna show you guys how it works if you guys don't add oil. And before I just flip it or whatever, let me actually put on the lid to show you guys what it looks like. Here's basically what the pot looks like with the lid on. So when you guys put it on the lid, the steam can definitely come out from the hole right here. If you see how well it's working already. So if you guys use your utensil, if you see how well the non-stick layer on here definitely works. 
then definitely see how nothing on here really sticks on when you guys do it using because that honeycomb design like I mentioned but also like that non-stick layer that's on here as well so that way it makes it a lot easier for it to cook stuff in here and easy for it to clean as well you can see how everything just comes off real easily like all this stuff on the side if you guys want to scrape it off feel free to do so because it will come off eventually all right so you can see the pot definitely does work and actually works pretty well Welcome back guys. So nice little quick test of button definitely actually does work and should work quite well. So like I mentioned for the video that I just showed you guys, that one is basically like the 12 inch pan. Whereas for this one that I just showed you guys is the 8 inch. So if you guys prefer like a bigger one, you can get the bigger one instead. But if you guys want to cook something very simple like fried eggs or something, then you probably want to get a smaller one so that way it doesn't waste a lot of space. But definitely the coolest thing about the product is the fact that when you guys use it, it definitely gives you guys that non-stick layer on here. So regardless if you guys want to cook like stick, seafood or if you guys want to cook egg or something whatever you guys want to use on here that is totally up to you guys but i mean see the product definitely works pretty well but that is basically everything that's on the product now that we can box thing and test the product now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not so for this product i do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality non-stick pan that also give you guys like the honeycomb design as well that i do have to say that it is pretty worth it but then obviously for those guys who don't want, or don't want, or haven't wanted these, they obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.